Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope you're having a good day or a good night. Whenever you're watching this video, I hope you're doing well. And today, I'm pretty much going to be showing you step by step how to change your oil for your Raptor 700. And I'm also going to be showing you the tools you need to change it as well. And uh, make sure you watch the whole video all the way through so you don't you know, miss any steps. And uh, I'm going to ask, please, like, subscribe. It's free, and you is helping me. Bar. That sounds cringe in the mug. Let's get right into it though, anyway. Okay, first thing I recommend for you to do is to let your foiler warm up so that way when you drain the oil, it'll flow out a whole lot quicker. I let it, I'll probably let it warm up about five minutes. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, I let it warm up for about a good five minutes. So, what you want to do is to pretty much go up under here. And you're gonna see pretty much the bolt um, for your oil for your oil container. And what I'm gonna use is a 12 millimeter socket. Well, you can see that. See, so can't focus. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Yeah, 12 millimeter socket. And what you want to do since it's upside down, because I know it might be self-explanatory, but um, mistakes do happen. It, when you go up under here, you want to make sure you know right. It's tight, left is loose. You want to do the opposite. This is already loose. Okay. So usually when it starts driven, you can go ahead and put the put the bolt back in. Jeez. Like I say you don't want to put too much torque. You definitely I'm about to get it right there. You definitely don't want to script it. Okay, so pretty much the next step you want to do is to go up under here and find your case drain bolt. It's going to be pretty much, you're going to have, you know, it's going to be different on holes, but you want to come to it right here. And it's going to be the next bolt you're going to drain. And for this right here, I'm using a 22, you probably can't see it, but I'm using a 22 millimeter socket. Okay. I swear it's impossible for you not to get your hands all greasy. That's why I recommend gloves. But yeah, you're gonna let that right there drain for a little bit. You know, close to, close to empty as possible. And yeah, I'm, I'll be back when this right here is done. So after you get done letting that drain, you wanna make sure you screw it back. And the next step, what you're gonna do, it come to the oil, your oil filter. And you're going to, as you see, you got three screws you want to uh, take out. And what you're going to use, you're going to use a set of some Allen key wrenches. And, um, yeah, the first one, you want to make sure this this right here is pretty much the drain. It's going to drain all the oil that's, that's in here. So you want to drain this first. The rest of them don't matter. You want to make sure you put them in the correct order because all these right here are different sizes. I know this is for sure. These might not matter, but I'll let you know. Okay, so what, what I like to always do, I like to always put like a little, like some type of um, paper towel or something, so that way when you drain this right here, it'll drain more. That way you won't get it all over your engine, because that, that stuff does collect dust and pretty much anything else when you ride. Okay then, so once you get all the bolts unscrewed, it should look something like that right there. I got them in order based on how I took them out. That's the bottom drain one, and both of these right here, the one up top. So that way you won't get confused. I recommend that you make sure, you know, keep track, because you definitely want to go in there a different way that it don't supposed to. So now what you want to do is just tug a little bit and 
oil filter should pop right on out. This right here is pretty much the oil filter. You can see it's a little kind of dirty. Some people say you don't have to um, change it. But I like to change mine. That shit was dripping. Let's get into a little tug. Yeah. Yeah, right there. It's looking a little, little goldish yellow. So yeah, it probably is time to change it. What you want to do is get some of this oil and kind of spread it, lubricate the edges like around the around this band right here. And I'm gonna call this right here. I guess this right here would be the Audi. This the any. So all you gotta do now is kind of just place it. Gotta place it kind of kind of flush with that pretty much you're just gonna put it right back into here okay so we just added a new filter so now what you want to do it come up to this bolt right here and um this right here gonna be where you fill up your case and um this right here is um I believe it's a 10 millimeter I don't really I had to go buy it, but I'm also going to show you a uh, little trick if you don't have one that you know quite big enough. Do what I usually use, and as you can see, I just always just kind of wrap tape around it so that way it'll fit just enough for it to you know be able to turn. So if you don't you know got the money to buy a whole new one, a whole new set, or whatever, just get some I think that black electrical tape and just use it. Okay, so I finally found a funnel, and um, my my camera also died, so I had to go get another battery. So I have two batteries that I already used. So by the way, this is taking a long, lot longer time than I thought trying to record and everything. So um, yeah, please like the video, subscribe. You know, it mean a lot. But yeah, I'm gonna be using Yamalube 10W40. So, uh, yeah, you want to use about a little bit over, let's see, you want to use a little bit over half, so I'm probably going to use around between here, that 20, between, between, i say 16, with that 16, yeah, 16, 20, that'd probably be a good, one. we just kind of just go from there. Okay, so this right here is going to be the last step, so all pretty much what you're going to do, you're going to pretty much pour a full quart into the oil container and um after that right there you gonna pretty much play it by ear it usually takes a little bit over like uh, a quarter of a quart to go in there so um yeah we're just gonna play it by ear and see okay so we just use a whole quart so now I'm probably gonna use as we can see that right there I'm probably gonna bring it all the way down for the rest of it to about to right there about at eight and um yeah after i get done with that right there i probably just checking to see and yeah that should be it though all the other times i did it, it usually be right there about at eight you done. okay so after you get done using all what you're gonna put in there what i usually do i just have it kind of just in there like that i don't screw it all the way down kind of have it just barely in there then i pull it out then i check and uh, as you can see right there, it's pretty full. And when you crank the engine up right now, when you crank it up, the oil pretty much gonna cycle through all, like, you know, the, the, the engine, the container and all that right there. So usually when you crank it up, this right here gonna go from here to uh, like a little bit lower, not halfway, but just a little bit lower, at least from my experience. But you can see, yeah, everything looking pretty good. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that you need to know pretty much how to change your oil and your oil filter. And yeah, this video took a lot longer than I, I thought, so please like, subscribe, and you know, check out my other videos. I, you know, I made plenty of other vi videos, how to wheelie, even how to put this in reverse if you don't know how, even trail riding videos and everything. So yeah, hope y'all have a good day, and uh, yeah, I am glad I finished with this. Peace.